Hey guys, Josh from Godamu here with another Gundam MSI review, and today we're reviewing the Neros Gundam. This Gundam from Com Gundam comes from Neo Italy. It's one of the first ones you see in G Gundam as an enemy unit, and uh, it's pretty bad looking. I like it. It's it's one of the ones that I I think I like it because it kind of resembles Zaku in some ways, particularly in the roundness of the legs and the way the feet are designed. In fact, it's actually the basis of uh, my custom Zorn, which uh, will appear later in Gundam Father Peace, my stop motion animation series. So, uh, accessories. One comes with this shield here, which has a little hole in it, so that if it needs to, its spikes can fit through there, I guess. That's what I imagine. That or so it can look through. But it, oddly enough, almost fits the spikes. Almost. There. Comes with an axe. Not a heat axe, just an axe, but pretty cool axe. And, um... It comes with two closed fists and two open hands. And the other accessory is, um, aside from the backpack, is these spikes on its arms, which are pretty cool. They kind of remind me of the Gelgug Jaeger's machine guns, except that these are not machine guns. The legs are actually lasers, so you could just kind of kneel and laser shoot out. It's kind of, kind of weird, but uh, interesting, very interesting as most of the G Gundam units are. My one tip, if you own this figure, take some super glue and glue these in because otherwise you will lose them and you'll be kicking yourself. They just kind of pop off. So uh, I don't know why they made them come off because it really makes no sense whatsoever. But uh, yeah, shield, axe, spikes, and the core booster. Not core booster, um, core lander. There we go. The core landers, they all transform just a little bit. This one's no exception. They're basically little cars slash escape shuttlecraft in case your mobile suit is destroyed in combat. Uh, these parts right here tend to get lost. Something to check for if you're trying to buy one. I always say if you're you're going to buy something like a Gundam on eBay, make sure the seller has a picture of the back because they might say it's complete and then you get it and it looks like this. Always a disappointment. So make sure that uh, they have pictures on the back. Let's go over the articulation. Head is on a ball joint, turns 360 degrees, has these weird shoulder covers and then shoulders here. They get in the way just a little bit but not too bad. So the shoulders can still turn all the way around. They have a good range of flexibility in there. The arm turns 360 degrees. Elbow joint. Hand turns 360 degrees. The waist can turn 360 degrees. Leg goes that far forwards, that far back, and has a knee joint. The foot also is on a ball joint. Actually, the foot has quite a range of flexibility. It's a pretty cool figure. Doesn't have a lot of time in the show. Uh, gets beat pretty fast by Domo. Um, but uh, I like it. I guess I really like it because I like the legs. It's part of the reason why I chose it as a custom basis for my Zorn. Well, that's been our review. <coughs> if you're looking for a Neros Gundam or other Gundam MSA action figures, make sure to check out our store. Gundams R Us, your favorite arms dealer. There's a link down below. And when you buy from us, it helps support our stop motion animation series, Gundam Father of Peace. And uh, that money helps to buy paint and props and all kinds of things that keep the show going and keep production going fast. Thanks, guys. Make sure to leave me comments about what you'd like to see me review next. Got a lot of cool reviews coming. Catch you later.